What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got a returning visitor. This is One Stock Plaid on Instagram. Go follow this man. He has brought us many, many cars in the past like the Ring Caddy, uh, an M135i, I think the fastest M140i we've ever had, uh, an X5M, an X3M, an RS6. Uh, this guy's had so many cars over the last few years and he always brings them to us for us to review. So. Many thanks, Mr. One Stock Plaid. Uh, today we have a very special plaid because the owner races it. So he takes it to drag races. As you can hear, we're currently warming it up for drag strip mode. Uh, and this plaid is hella fast. So we've got the zero G wheel because this car also has the track package with the carbon ceramic brakes, uh, different brake fluid, different brake calipers, six pot forged one piece calipers at the front, four pots at the rear. We've got these brakes with the ceramic coating. Uh, they work really, really well. And then the beautiful zero G wheels. Now, normally, or oh, I'm just going to head here. It's a bit loud over there. So normally you get like the 21 or the 19 inch wheels with your car and then you order the track pack. And then you get these wheels with the Goodyear Supercar 3R tire which is a semi-slick which is not road legal in uh, Europe but the owner put these Nankang AR1s on this car same sizes 305 at the rear 285 at the front uh, 30 20 inch and uh, that means that this car is road legal on these like semi-slick tires which is amazing so I can't wait to actually find out what that feels like We've got a Pure Turbos logo there at the rear, uh, which is kind of funny. He used to run Pure Turbos on his BMWs. And then this car has been stripped out as well, as you can see. So uh, rear seat delete, everything is gone here. Stupid bugs. Uh, this saves around 40 kilos. And then we've got these, oh, I have to get in quickly. Stupid, weird mosquitoes. We've got these Recaro pole positions in here, which is super cool. It's such a weird, weird thing to see, really. Uh, we have drag strip mode. So let's head out and see what this thing feels like. See what the tires can do, how they feel, how they feel at high speed. I mean, they should be able to, to cope with this speed, but also, I mean, cornering speed should be just amazing in this setup. Okay, so foot down. That is cheetah mode, preparing. There we go. Oh my God. That is insane. Oh, it still, still surprises me every time. I hope you guys can see that. Digital speedo there. That is zero to top speed, 328 kilometers an hour on the speedo. That is absolutely outrageous. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Oh. Isn't it supposed to not do the top speed in track strip mode? I think you need to be in track mode for that, right? Or am I like getting them the wrong way around? Uh, this, this is truly amazing, this car. You do hear the tires. Oh my God, just put my foot down. Look at that thing go. Oh, this is, it is so quick. So the owner is fast. 0 to 100 is 2.25 seconds. We did a 2.3 quarter mile. We did a 9.3, which is also crazy fast. And then, uh, I mean, the most amazing thing to me really is the 100 to 200, which, oh my God. Oh, that is, that is very fast, guys. What, that is, no way. Oh my God, that is, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, 100 to 200, we did 4.2 and uh, Martijn just did a 3.99. So that is also pretty insane. So track mode, boom. And then we can go to uh, adjust 
and then drift. So we have like full power to the rear basically. <laughs> Still hate those blinkers on the steering wheel. That is such a bad idea, but that is a good idea. Oh, I do quite like the the seating position, but because it, it really feels like you're in an electric race car. Oh, and there we go. Oh, just shoots off into the distance. <laughs> it is so crazy. It really is so insane. Oh. So that 40 kilos plus these tires probably mean that we got two tenths of time on that 100 to 200. I mean, in the threes is, is pretty damn, pretty damn insane. It really is. The stability as well, high speed stability is really, really good. Uh, I mean, the tires are a bit louder. Well, a lot louder, but they do give you a lot more grip, which, you know, I, I do quite like that. It's a good setup, this. It's a really good street setup, even. I mean, absolutely epic. I do feel like it's getting a little bit hot now, so performance is definitely decreasing, but we know that with these cars. Oh, it is exhilarating, this thing. It, it really is a marvel. I mean, the owner does have some problems with uh, build quality, so some trim that is coming off. I think this is also like creaking a little bit. Uh, he has like some panel gaps, but I mean, you have a thousand plus horsepower for 120,000 euros, 130,000 euros. It's, it's insane, it really is. Oh. Oh, I felt that one in my stomach. <laughs> it's so crazy. It just, you don't really get used to it. Oh, epic. This is a really fun setup. I mean, the just the cornering speeds and the grip and it just makes everything so much more intense it's a very quick review this because i'm already back here it's it's that quick it's just outrageous it is truly an amazing car i i absolutely love it i really do i think some of you think that we are getting paid by tesla to say this that is absolutely not true this is just fun it's fun to do Yes, it can only do like two things, but it does them really, really well. And uh, it does them better than a lot of other cars. So yeah, that, that feeling in your stomach of that acceleration is impossible to get anywhere else for this kind of money, for anywhere near this kind of money. So that is definitely impressive. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, minus 40 kilos and uh, plus some grip Tesla plaid review with track pack. Uh, check out One Stock Plaid on Instagram. Check out this video, this playlist. Subscribe to the channel and see you at the next one. Bye guys.